guys, welcome to my gaming channel. Now, a few of you have asked for a tutorial on making these uh, kills onto RP CS3 4K videos. And, you know, you know that I make them look like the 60 frames a second. Um, I'll try and cover that in this video, but um, for, for now, I'm going to show you how I arrive at this. This is from the campaign. Let's um, Let's just go back a bit. Let's just check something. Yeah, the view transform is off. Now watch when I press play. It's at 30 frames a second. Let's be plow through these hell gas. Like hot night through board. Now it looks and sounds pretty okay. Alright. I've added some effects, some color some colorization, brightness, contrast, even a bump map to bring out the textures a little bit more. Now you're looking, you're viewing this at uh, 30 frames a second, right? So let's stop that. Now, basically, when I record with RPCS3, I use Cheat Engine. And all Cheat Engine does is slow the process of the game down. So you click this button to find the Vulcan progress, uh, sorry, process. When you're playing a, a game with the emulator, you'll see the Vulcan process or OpenGL, whatever, whichever one you're using. And then you, you open it and you enable the speed hack. Change that to 0.5, click apply, right? And you'll find everything slows down. But within RPS, RPCS3 itself, let's, let's open it well, while we're at it. In our piece, in our PCS3, you can never say it. <laughs> Configure audio. I don't know why I've got an open AL, but it seems to work for me. It's, it's, it's the same. It's basically the same as X Audio too, but um, I've just been trying trying different things with this. But the main thing I'm trying to show you there is enable buff buffering. Keep that on the default 100 milliseconds, but enable the time stretching, right? Because you're slowing the video down, but you also got, want to slow down the audio. If you keep it on 75, I find it tends to lose track. So I've increased it to 85. I mean, I could change from 85 to say 90. I've, not, I've gone all the way to 100. It didn't seem to work. All right, so you click slate, save. The GPU Vulcan, mine's an RTX 2080. I've just bought a really decent PC. Frame limit off, automatic anisotropic filter. Resolution scale 300%, i.e. 4K. Now the resolution scale, I've, I've messed about with that and I've not really noticed any difference. If you go too high, it can't manage it. On well, my computer can't anyway. And I just have right color buff, buffers checked. Use uh, GPU. GPU texture scaling. There we go. A bit early for me. My voice is a bit slurred. But when that game is running, it um, it's slowed down by Cheat Engine, as I mentioned before. Right? Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. So let's let's show you how I did it. Right click. Open this with Vegas Pro. I'll show you what I mean by slow down. Let's um, turn the view transform off. All right, so let's right click that, go to properties, normalize. There we go. Let's get rid of that one. That's just a microphone track. Now, the whole length of it is 15.0625 and it, it translates to 7.33.13 right when you when you go to half if you want to basically um stretch this video so it plays quicker i'll actually show you how it, how it record this is how i played it and recorded it not fuck out of uh, gaza as you do <laughs> but you see he's like uh he's like on the moon there uh, jumping over try to melee everybody because i'm a i'm a bugger <laughs> but anyway i'm playing it like that and recording it like that for the purpose of bringing you these videos that look they look quality you know what i mean 
Now this video I'm also going to add, as you can see from the last time you've seen it, I added some effects and I'll go into them at the end of the video. And actually, actually at the very end of the video I'm going to show you the 60 FPS version of this and it looks mint. Anyway, so what we're going to do, right, we're going to right click it, properties, change that to 2. Alright, now let's find 733. There we go. But let's go back a bit. You've got to find the very first frame. Because what's... But this series, basically what you're seeing here is the end of the video. But really, originally, the end of the video is there. But because you've speeded it up, you've got two diff you've got two copies of the same video there. So let's go ahead one. There we go. Press U on the keyboard to unassociate it. Otherwise, it'll split the clip of the audio as well. U split highlight that press delete now the audio properties time stretch pitch pitch shift El elastic um oh, i'm going to manually change this to 07 click on lock to stretch there we go now the audio is in time um, what I do to the audio because this is not a hundred percent method of stretching the audio what happens you hear, hear a lot of um, discrepancies on the sound but it's when you're adding music and there's loads of gunfire going off and everything it's not really that noticeable but if you really like your audio you might you might be a bit disappointed but I downloaded this um, plugin called pitch proof it's by asian music um you can google that and you'll be able to get to the download page and download this because it is free um i go to minus one go to stereo and move that all over to there and that's that and this is what you get And you might hear a few in the background of the audio at, at, at the moment in at this moment in time the time stretching is not perfect in rpcs3 um i don't know if it, anything's going to be done about that but um at the end of the day i want it to i want this game to play at 60 frames a second anyway so i don't have to do all this messing about but i do it just to make the videos look the way they do all right so this is um this is what i've just created and, and shown you how to do it let's go to the um let's go to the other one the completed version now this is with the effects added i'm going to show you the effects we've got brightness and contrast now the contrast have just added one zero at the end there color corrector i've just changed the saturation to 1.4 and the sharpening i've used um I've used the light preset and the bump map. Now let's go to a different part of you, the video. Let's go to a part where it's not so. Hang on. Let's go for, further back. I'm just trying to find a part where it really shows clear a clear image. Right. Now when I um, uncheck it. It's, not, it's the only subtle difference. The re reason why I've used a bump map is to try and bring out the, the textures a lot more sharper, you know? Bring them out from uh, out of the 2D world into the 3D world. Um, these are the settings. The intensity, one point, uh, 0.143, 0.422, keep that the same. Actually, the shyness has moved all the way up to that, actually. 0.837. So if you just copy them settings and and mess about with the settings that's how i've got it looking like that off on now here's the video in question um and i hope you um have understood all that this is a video at 60 frames a second thanks for watching
It's a battle of hearts and minds. The struggle to defend our Vectin values, truth, justice, freedom, against a twisted Hellgas philosophy which values bloody death more highly than a peaceful life. As soldiers, we fight for life, not death. For our families, our brothers in arms. I know every one of you will do your duty. Stay true to yourselves, and we will win this war. With his unprovoked attacks, his contempt for innocent life, the Hellgas dictator Visari has turned his back on the rule of law. He's closed the door on peaceful discussion. There can be no negotiation with a man like this, no compromise, no political deals. Visari and his warmonger generals must be brought to account. This duty falls to us as soldiers. I trust every one of you will see it through. In the hands of a dictator like Visari, nuclear technology will lead us all to Armageddon. He must.